Hello and good morning. My name is Abby and this is Craft Studio. Uh, I thought I would pop on and uh, share some of the things that I've been working on. Um, I know I haven't posted video in a month or so. Um, we've had some family stuff going on and um, <clears throat> just didn't have the time. <laughs> um, and I just, I uh, did not have time to crochet for a while and um, I just kind of got back into it and uh, so I've been working on some uh, Christmas things. I know Christmas is over but uh, <laughs> when you just finally get the time to do some uh, Christmas things you, you take advantage of it. You don't let it pass you by. So um, I thought I would share. I have some crochet to share with you. I have some show, um, sewing to share with you and I have some knitting to share with you so if you would like to stick around for that <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice um, I'm I had a really bad cold for like three weeks and I'm I'm better much better than I was but still sometimes my, my throat gets a little <clears throat> I have to clear my throat or cough so I apologize for that please bear with me um, I am a little nervous about filming again because it's been so long but I, I hope I'm hoping I can just jump right back into it and it'll be fine um, it's a little impromptu I'm sorry about, I'm filming in my living room um, it's a cold day today it is snowing um, and it's real cloudy and overcast so I've I thought this room would be a lot more, have a lot more light than, than my little craft room. So why don't we just hop right into it. Um, I've been working on my Christmas merriment afghan. Um, however, well, <coughs> excuse me, it's a pattern. It was a uh, pack I had purchased from Hershner's. I lost the pattern. <laughs> Um, so thankfully I didn't lose the yarn, um, but I have been just filling in with other patterns that I find that I like. Um, so I will just share with you quickly. This is the original um, pattern. It's, it is a swirl pattern in the front and then just plain uh, granny square blocks in the back. Um, so that is the original pattern. It is a double-sided afghan. So you make two blocks, um, sew them together, and then you connect them all. Um, so this is the original pattern that I lost. So I've been filling in with other blocks. Um, so I found this really cute Christmas wreath block uh, that I uh, f made. And then on the back, I just put four little uh, solid squares together and um, did a, um, I think it's a single crochet um, edging um, to put them together to make that ridge. I think that's really pretty. So there's one. Uh, this is a little, it's supposed to look like a little parcel or a package, Christmas package. Uh, so that's one side and then I have this I, I think it, it reminds me of a poinsettia, the Christmas flower. <clears throat> oh, there's a little piece of dust there. But anyway, so that's one side. Um, and it has four colors. It's, um, I believe this is eggnog. This is, um, the candied is this, uh, the red, red color. The green color is fern. And then there is a color kind of on the outside that is very, very similar to the fern. They, they are very similar. And it's called linen. And to me, it does not look like linen, but okay. I didn't name it. <laughs> so it's not me. Anyway. So I have four colors that I'm working with. Um, so... Let's see, I tried to make this block, which was supposed to be a holly block. It, um, I made it larger, which distorted the, the, <laughs> the design, or distorted, messed up, whatever. Um, so it didn't turn out exactly like holly, but I think it's still pretty. 
and it's got some post stitches um, and I, I really like the design and I tried to you know mix and match the colors to make it um, <clears throat> Make it uh, visually stimulating. That's what I was going for. So there's that one. Um, let me see. Oh, I made this uh, heart granny square, which I think is just so adorable. I've been wanting to try that, and I finally tried that. So I thought that turned out really nice. And here is another parcel. I did this with the red instead of the green. And then this is a little flower, crochet flower, I just put in the center of the uh, plain block on the back. And then this is one of the main patterns I really like. It's called Window Pane Posies. And this is a from a vintage pattern. And you just change the color in the center and do all the rounds on the outside the same. So I've made two so far. I've got the fern and the candied, uh, which I think are really, really, really beautiful. I think I'm going to change it up in the next blocks. I think I'll make white for the center and do the um, colors on the outside just to make them a little different. But my favorite of all, I started following um, Marion from Wool, Wool Thread Paint. Um, on YouTube and she has an Etsy shop and I bought some of her patterns um, she does amazing work she has tutorials um, for parts of the pattern that <clears throat> are maybe a little bit more um, challenging um, but I just I, I have purchased a few of her patterns and really enjoyed making them. I have learned a lot from her. Um, she is over in um, Scotland, I believe. Um, but anyway, I've been just having a blast with her patterns. This is, um, I can't remember the name of this. This is from one of her blanket patterns. And uh, it's just four colors. I think it's four colors. Uh, so I just made a bunch of them. I switched up the colors the order of the colors. I have not weaved in my ends. Um, but I just, oh my goodness, I just love, and they're simple stitches. It's nothing fancy. They're just um, placed on top of each other kind of and behind each other. And so it's it makes for a beautiful uh, look, but also it has some texture to it. And when you use the different colors, it's just amazing what you can come up with. And I have been having a blast with these. And like I said, they're basic stitches, so it's it's fairly simple once you get the hang of it. And um, highly recommend it if you want to go check her out. I will leave uh, um, a link to her down in the description uh, box below. Okay, so I wanted to share this um, knitting book that I had found. This is actually from a local lady right here in Illinois and uh, she, this is a new book she, this is her first book she just put out and I found it and picked it up and it's all about knit hats and uh, so I wanted to uh, try to do some color work never done color work in knitting before so I tried the first pattern I tried and I already finished it and gifted it away um, but um, yes, I, I did. I finished it. I made a lot of mistakes in it, but <clears throat> I just kept going. <laughs> um, I decided this was my first time. It's not going to be perfect, but I did. I did finish it. So that was a big deal. So this is the hat that I made. It's called Swirl Power, and um, it's using I think super bulky yarn or just bulky. I think it's super bulky. It's thick and quick. You can use Lion Brand Woolies um, thick and quick and um, uses a 9 and 10 millimeter needle. And um, so anyway, yeah, I made that hat. And uh, yeah, that was interesting. I've never done floats before. Uh, never done two color knitting anything before. I've done two color crochet, of course, but not knitting. 
So I will do it again. I'm the next hat I want to try. Okay, so the next one I want to try is this one. It's called Flip Side. And um, it's another bulky, it uses the bulky yarn. So I want to try that one next. And it's, um, yeah, it uses a super bulky yarn. <clears throat> so maybe I'll have that to share next time. Okay, um, shall I, oh, I have one other thing in knitting to share with you. Um, I was inspired by an older lady as I was walking through Hobby Lobby with a friend uh, last week. Uh, this little old lady um, inspired me to pick up sock knitting again. Um, I had put it down. I had given up. I was tired of trying. Um, uh, I had knit several socks. Um, none of them fit my feet uh, correctly. They were either too big or too long or I'm, funnily enough I've never knit one that was too small except I think my first one but I ended up think you know oh I'll give this to my daughter well I never knit the second one so it doesn't matter but anyway she inspired me to try again she said don't give up she said keep trying so I am so I picked up this sock again um, this is a scrappy sock I am going to knit for my daughters. I have made, if you have been watching my videos, I have made um, crochet socks for my daughters before. And I've made lots of crochet socks for myself. Um, but I thought I would uh, start out <laughs> by doing some scrappy socks. This is from Odd Sock House on Etsy. Um, I believe she's also on Instagram. Uh, she has these sock sets that comes with... Um, these little balls of yarn, they're all scrappy and they're already uh, rolled up and cut so you just you just knit till your heart's content. But anyway, um, so I am knitting socks for my daughter because she loves my crochet socks so I thought well it's time for a knit pair. So I'm doing the heel flap right now and we'll see how that goes. For all these little <laughs> <laughs> balls of yarn that are already rolled up. They fit perfect in the little egg crate. So I carry this around. Yes, I carry it around with me. So there you go. All right. Oh, and it also comes with a pattern. Uh, so, okay. Shall I move on to sewing now? Okay. Um, so I didn't get to do my Christmas sewing until this past weekend. Is today Thursday? I think today's Thursday and <laughs> my days run together. Um, my weeks are going by so fast oh. and I, I found a quick and easy uh, tutorial um, here on YouTube from Beth at my sewing room. I think that's what her channel's called. I will link it down below. I also linked it in our, um, uh, in our Facebook group if you would like to go check that out there. But I made um, these little uh, these are supposed to be ornaments for the tree, but I made mine a little bit bigger. And, um, I mean, I guess you kill, still could hang it on the tree, but I'm not going to. I was just going to use it as a decoration. Um, but I made these little Christmas angels, and I used muslin that I had hand-dyed. And um, the But the fun thing is I, I used my new sewing machine, uh, that I got for Christmas and um, it was a gift to myself um, but it does a lot of fancy stitches and if you can see the little green leaves on top I did that with my new sewing machine and then these little star stitches I did on my sewing machine uh, so I just tried it out um, just to see how it worked and uh, it also threads my needle automatically. It's it's pretty it's pretty amazing, um, and I'm very excited to use it. But anyway, this is so this is the first little angel I made. <clears throat> the second one I made a little bit bigger, and <clears throat> excuse me, I sewed some buttons on the little feet here, um, and I use let's see. I used some different stitches, if you can see that. 
just gorgeous. I just played around with it. I just tried all different stitches and I wanted them to show up. I used Christmas color thread, so I've got red, um, silver, I didn't have any gold, I used green, <clears throat> and I did use some yellow on the wings just to make it look like gold. But um, anyway, I had a really good time making these. They were quick and easy. <clears throat> a, l a fun little project. Now this one I have not finished. I'm still working on this one. I still need to put the little um, leaf garland or wreath at the top. Um, but this one I used some fabric that I had. I just tried to make it a little simpler. Um, and I made the wings a little bit bigger. <laughs> But I was just, you know, I did some a lot of hand sewing with this one. Um, sewed on the buttons and everything. But I was trying to make each one a little bit different and just kind of playing around with it just to see what it would, what it would make. Um, so I was going to give them as gifts, but Christmas is over now, so maybe I'll save them for next year. <laughs> um, and then this one I started and I had some trouble uh, when I was sewing the legs on so that is not finished yet it still needs to be finished but I, I have this um, lace that I wanted to try that I thought was would be really pretty um, lots of different colored um, lace that I had found actually at Goodwill <laughs> I found a bag full of lace just scrap pieces of lace um, and so, yeah, I just had this little lace basket, actually. <laughs> and I just had a great time going through and picking out different lace to put on these angels. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and I didn't want to just use the muslin. I wanted to try different fabrics, but I wanted them to be subtle and kind of neutral colored. Um, and I did this make this one a little bit more plain just because the fabric... Um, had a design and was um, a little darker colored so anyway but yeah I have um, I have this basket is full of different things of lace and then I also thought if I wanted to hang them um, you know put a maybe a hole in the top and hang them as an ornament or even as a decoration on the wall or the door I could use this um, it's fuzzy fuzzy thick yarn. I don't know what this is. It was given to me. Honeysuckle yarn. It was, but it's a nice Christmas color. So anyway, alright. I think that's all I have to share with you. So, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you are doing well and um, staying safe and doing some crafting if you can. Ah, uh, it's a little neck light, craft light, but, um, you, so you put it on your neck. You can get them in all different colors. I found this on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> so when you're crocheting or knitting or sewing or whatever, you put these lights on and <clears throat> I don't have a crochet. Oh yeah, I do. So you can just get your yarn and your little crochet hook <laughs> and you can just crochet there are three different levels of lights that's the first one this is the second one this is the third one so you can go super bright it charges with a cord um, but oh my goodness it makes it so much easier to see and you could just craft away Ooh. Yeah. So there you go. And the little buttons are right here on the side. Oh, so yeah, this was fun. I, I highly recommend it. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in this. And this is not a paid advertisement or anything. I'm not getting any commission over this, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, I saw something like this on Facebook actually, um, and it was it was like forty dollars, and I was like, what for that? So I looked it up on Amazon and found one for half that price. Um, so yeah, I got that and I'm very pleased with it. So highly recommend it. If uh, you have some trouble seeing at night or maybe you're crocheting or knitting something in black and you really need that extra light, oh, this is a lifesaver, let me tell you. 
So, okay. All right, now, now I'm done. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I will see you next time.